Hey, Amy. Hey, Taylor. Licky what I've got. <laughs> what indeed do you have? I have the interior of a TI-99-4A. I mean, and you sure do. It is all splayed out. Can everyone see this? Look at that right there. Okay. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this. Do tell, do tell. <laughs> so, this... <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that looks like it could attack my city. This attacking thing. This is the internal power supply. Okay. So basically, what this computer needs is these four things, which are, from left to right, 5 volts, 12 volts, ground, and, I'm sorry, negative 5, 12 ground, and 5 volts. Four things that are pretty typical and standard. Like, that's normal for it to need those voltages. What you got from the wall on the, for the original power supply was, like, not that. It was three things, ground, white, and red, <laughs> <laughs> that came in here. So, if you... Hmm. Yeah. So I bought this computer and the guy told me it doesn't work. And I'm like, that's okay. That's okay. I just want one real bad and right. maybe I can get it. And maybe, we'll, you know, maybe, maybe I play with it. I'll, you know, take some chips out. I'll figure it out. Um, I did not think there was any reason to believe that this was the part that's not working. But, so I got online to try to find a new power supply. And so when you look for like power supply for a TI-994A, I could find a lot of them from 1982. Hmm. Or I could find something brand new, and I went with the brand new one. The funny thing about it is that it said, look, here's the thing. Um, <laughs> here's the thing. Here's, here's the deal. We're not going to put out weird voltages that have to be turned into. We're going to give you the four voltages you need. We're out of the gate. Out of the gate, which means in order to use this power supply that I got, I've got to um, right desolder... And resolder. So, so these cords that came off the plug used to go to here, and then oh, the big spider thing came off of here and went into the board. Now the board doesn't say what the voltages are, but if you zoom in real close, you can see them right there next to that. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see. Um, so you can see what voltages it needs. Right in here. So that is what that is, and that is what that bad boy looks like. So I just followed the lines on that connector Man. and knew where to put the four leads that come off of the actual plug. Um, well, I had to add one because it had black, white, and red. I had to add this little green one. So you got to skip some stuff. Yeah. So this whole thing is gone. Now, losing this, we also lose this LED, which would tell you if the computer was on. That wouldn't be hard to replace with just an LED. And you lose the switch. So the front of the case has a nice slidey switch on it, which I've left, I'm going to leave on the case just so there's not a hole there, but it will not do, do anything. anything. The switch is now on this. But what's cool about this is that not only does it say TI-9948 yeah. on it, so I don't have to wonder which plug goes to which, which is, is a problem in the rest of the lab, but also it lights up! Sure. Isn't that pretty? That is nice. Oh, that's cool. It's so pretty. That's really cool. And it slowly goes down because it's really got a capacitor in it. So, mm. so that was step number one, was buy power, and I've got power, and I desoldered this thing and got rid of this thing, and now the power goes straight to the board. Okay. Step two was I need something to plug it into a TV with because it didn't come with that either, and so I needed a composite out. Audio, video, and sound. Can it be seen? Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. And so this is a DIN connector, and this connector will fit like a Commodore 64, but all yeah. the pins are different, so don't use that. So don't. Right. So I had this one. I ordered this one from yeah. Arcade Shopper, and our friends at Arcade Shopper sent it promptly. Thank you, Arcade Shopper. So now okay. we can troubleshoot the computer. So step one was to give it power. Holy crap! <laughs> This broken computer... Trouble shot! <laughs> well, sort of. Okay, never mind. Either... 
either there was a fault on there uh -huh. and that's why this thing was considered broken or what he was talking about is what's going to happen next. Oh. <laughs> Press any key to begin. Well, that's the space bar. It's not the any key. That's a nice key. Okay, so the only keys that are working are the one you just pressed, which is enter. A first try! Also, one works, huh. so we can get into TI Basic. Okay, weird. And then M and N. <laughs> <laughs> so we can type all the little M and Ns we want and then hit enter, and it's like, it's no, not stop happy doing about that. No. Um, so <laughs> this, doing? this perhaps is, is the brokenness of this computer. So what we are going to do today for fun is we are going to... Take apart this keyboard, Check. which, like so many keyboards of the era, has like 13 itty bitty screws on it, uh, and one little joint you have to desolder. The C64 has the same thing. Oh. It's because there's a switch that's gotcha. got a, it's the alpha lock switch. I would call that caps lock. But anyway, we'll have to desolder that and resolder it when we're done. But I think we're going to open this guy up. It's so weird because it looks so truncated. It, it looks like half a keyboard. It does, and yet the, all the letters That's are there. Um, we're going to take this apart, open it up, clean it, yeah. and then take a look at some of the traces on there because my hunch is that some of the traces have been lifted. And then we're going to try to draw new traces there with conductive ink. Now what are, tra are traces just where it actually has the connection? Yeah. Okay. Sort of like Easy enough. the little lines on here. On the on the that are screened on the actual gotcha. board, those are the traces. I need I need I want my mother to know what's happening right now. Yeah, um, <laughs> Amy's mom. We're gonna look at the little connections between the keys and the output okay. and see if that's where the problem is. Yeah. So um, now we're gonna pause it and take out all these little screws and um, heat up the soldering iron, and yeah. then we'll be right back. Yeah, we won't make you watch us unscrew the screws. No, we it's wouldn't do that. We, we like you too much. Okay. So many. I'll be right back. Yeah. Just a second. Come on, Is champ. There's little bitty dudes here. Mm. Yeah, at least that won't be too bad. Of to, to desolder. It's melted, but it won't move. Come on. There we go. There. Okay. Ta-da! All right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> And now, for the grand opening. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep it going on this way, so. It should just come apart at this time. Did I miss one? Oh, I missed one. You missed the screw. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, there was only 952,000 of them. 14. I only counted 13 because I missed the one under the ribbon. Okay. okay. <gasps> yes. So that, Okay. this is the, the pad. And these are all the little key and switches, that's just the back and they cool. seem fine. Like I don't see any broken pieces here. Yeah, mechanically it seems to be. Yeah, they all they all dance. Um, so this is what we need to take a look at and see if there's a way to repair. So we need to pull this up. If there's any... Yeah, because it seems like. This is the most likely place for the this is issue very to delicate. be. This looks like some Star Trek stuff over here. <laughs> I just really don't want to mess it up. Thanks. I appreciate you lying. <laughs> I mean, I guess I don't technically know, but it seems good. I mean, so far it's in one piece. Yeah. The fun part's going to be getting it back on. It, if, if it's even possible. Okay. Wow. So, we've got all these pads. They all yeah, look so fine. Just... What looks dicey is this guy yeah. here. Um... That does look a little janky. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to redraw those guys with conductive ink okay. and see if I can this is where we think the problem improve it because all of this looks gorgeous there's a little bit of dust here that comes right off with my I mean this is just beautiful yeah it looks really neat but that's the part where it looks less than perfect yeah. so um pause pausing Says we're recording. Are we being lied to? Um, gang, we had the we had the boards out, and we used this MG Chemicals carbon conductive pen. Uh -huh. Yep, yeah, this is beauty. There's lots of warnings about it. There we go. <laughs> Don't use it with fire. Whatever. We used this to put little dots on all of the carbon pads, including the, the little traces that came down off the board. I also cleaned the contacts on the board itself, not on that membrane, and got it really shiny. Beautiful. Um, and then that worked mm -hmm. intermittently, mm -hmm. and then we realized we needed to... Um, better contact. Yeah, get that to con contact better. So... Um, we came up with a little solution for that, and it worked. And we were so happy when it worked. And then we lost all of it. None of it got recorded. We I had know. been recording and working for like two <laughs> hours, and we lost all of it. We are hoping that it was this SD card, because now we have a new one in. And if you're seeing this, then we've solved our problem. But it uh, it's been a real... Been an emotional roller coaster. It's been a lot today. The good news <laughs> is we got the keyboard working with the conductive ink, and so now um, press any key, spacebar. Yeah. Hey, that works. Oh, look at that. Press one for TI Basic, and so then I can just. So there's a balance to the universe. We can only have one thing working at a time. And we got this working, so... So therefore the camera didn't... We um, paid in camera. So now um, we're going to attempt to reenact mm -hmm, mm -hmm. our reaction... Dramatic. ...when we got this to work. So at we're this so point happy. we knew the keyboard worked. All the keys were, yes. were working. But we had not yet run a program on it. And so I typed this, you know, I typed the Hello World program mm -hmm. and I hit enter. Mm -hmm. Okay, Are you ready? Okay, let me let me get my motivation. Okay, okay, ready. Okay, okay. action. <laughs> oh my it's working! Oh my god, I can't it's believe it's working! It's working! This is right! It's working! Oh Amy, 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 oh. Amy, it's working! Okay, and that's kind of how that went. And sing. <laughs> so it is. And I'm happy about it. I've ordered a Backbit Pro cartridge um, with a TI-99 4A adapter so that hopefully we can use a trustworthy SD card. Yeah, we like to SD things. Um, and actually play with some software for this. But in the meantime, there she blows. There she is. And uh, my favorite being, of course, that it has its own coffee warmer cup holder. Yeah, this is good. This is good. It's got it's got two. It's got a cartridge port here, mm -hmm. and it's got an edge connector here. And the TI ninety nine four A had like twelve different things you could daisy chain. I like the like, idea of this like just going keep up. going. Yeah, um, I don't have any of those original things. There was like a voice synthesizer and then printers oh. and drives Your and stuff. It. Anyway, yeah. Um, there is a. Um, a RAM expander that I've got my eye on. Mm -hmm. that might pop in there. But um, hopefully we'll be able to do future videos. Hopefully we'll be able to do any videos at, at all. all. Hopefully our camera works. Um, <sighs> and it was the SD card. But, um, but thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you see this. Like and subscribe. And please, please comment to our computer repair where we don't actually show you the repair <laughs> our, our repair latin our, our and frog channel our re repair 
uh, summary. Secret yeah. Rebecca. <laughs> right. right. Secret. Secret. Okay. All right. See you guys later. Bye. I hope. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bye.